remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I watched this guy who got pulled over by Washington State Police, and this dude was impossible to listen to. But I listened to him anyway for 34 minutes. This had to be one of the most honorary, disrespectful persons I've ever seen get pulled over by the police when the police was being patient and respectful. Now off top, I'm not one of the type of people who would immediately just surrender my rights to the police. I'm not that dude. But I'm not a fool either. I don't believe in going out of your way to aggravate the police. This dude got pulled over because the officer said that he saw him using his phone. And you're not supposed to use the phone while you're operating a motor vehicle. The guy said he wasn't using the phone. He said, I was putting it down. But before he said I was putting it down, he said he was using his GPS. Then he said he was, using it, he was putting it down. Now, I use my phone for GPS all the time, and I'm holding it a lot, which I'm sure most of you also do. The cop said that the law is that you're not supposed to hold the phone. You can use your phone for GPS, but you're not supposed to hold it. This guy said he was putting it down. So that was his first mistake. When he said that he was putting the phone down, it implied that he had been using it. Checkmate. But he went on and on and on. The cop asked him for his identification, driver's license. He wouldn't produce it. He said, I don't have to. I have not committed a crime. And he asked the cops, he said, uh, am I free to go? Actually, two cops pulled up on him, and, and he was like, am I free to go? Am I being detained? And they said, well, you're being stopped. They wouldn't tell him he was being detained. They kept saying, we're being stopped, and we're being questioned. Anyway, it just went on and on and on. The guy, was, the guy had a chip on his shoulder. He was really, really aggravated, and perhaps it wasn't just, he wasn't just aggravated about that one stop. Perhaps it was just a series of events or something that was going on in his personal life, whatever. But the dude was seriously agitated by the cops pulling him over. Toward the end, after he had asked, he had requested for a supervisor, the supervisor comes out. She's very cordial, very patient he she tells him after a, you know a short conversation that he's free to go and so he gets out of the car and decides that he wants to do a report outside of the car she tells him that because they're on the highway they're on the side of the highway you know it's, it poses a danger and she's telling him that he needs to leave because at this point, if he don't, he'll be trespassing. He'll be charged with criminal tr trespass, trespassing. And he's like, well, you know, if I'm free to go, you know, what do you mean I'm free to go? I don't have to get in my car and leave if I'm free to go. She said, no, you have to get in your car and go. So anyway, it ends with him, the lady cop walking off, the supervisor walking off, and the other cops walking off. As they're walking away, he's yelling at them. Call it, telling them, I hope you don't get hit by a car. And then he curses them out. Like, um, they're not even saying anything back to him. He's just cursing them, cursing them, cursing them. Now, again, family, I'm not one to just immediately surrender my rights to the police. I'm not one to surrender my rights at all to the police. But, and I know that there are a lot of cops out there who are a-holes. 
There's a lot of them. This dude really should be glad that he did not encounter that one because he would have had a totally different experience had he encountered one of those cops who got that chip on his shoulder, who was a Johnny Badass, you know, Billy Badass, and he thinks that he can do anything, stretch his authority whenever he feels like it. If you tell him no, if you're slow to comply, he sees that as a direct threat. And he will violate your rights. This, this family, I'm, I'm going to show you guys this video and watch as much as you, you care to, but you need to watch this video. And this should be an example of what not to do. I can appreciate anybody exercising their rights, but why go out of your way to be disrespectful and rude? You know, if when you don't have to, you know, again, these were some cops who was actually patient and cordial, respectful. But this dude was going out of his way to be disrespectful and impatient. You did? Not, not a good look at all. Not a good look at all. I kept thinking to myself, if police brutality, like unwarranted police brutality, could ever occur, it'll probably happen in this type of situation. But anyway, family, check out the video and drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?